Alright guys, Ninjaki we did it again. We have a half cash Dreadbloom guide and today I'm going to show you how to beat it without using any monkey knowledge. The event is not only special because we are playing on half cash, we are also starting at round 38 which is in my opinion really good because we don't have to bother with early game farming. The boss is going to be way easier than usual because the boss HP is going to be very very low and also the speed is going to be nerfed. Mobs are also nerfed so we can just keep focusing on farming for the first couple of rounds. We are starting the game with a BRF farm and also an engineer balloon trap and a rubber to gold. The most important part for the early game is to place down your rubber to gold and make sure he's on last and also use two discount villages so you can even afford everything. After upgrading your alchemist to rubber to gold, place down two blue gunners, one on strong and one also on last. And guys remember, make sure your alchemist is on last. If you put him on strong, you will lose a lot of money later. Alright, next step is to place down a 203 farm. Now we need a little bit camo defense for round 42 and 45, so make sure to place down a village, make sure your engineer and also your alchemist are in range of it and upgrade your monkey village to radar scanner. For the first two skulls we are going to use a sticky bomb, so place down a ninja and upgrade your ninja to 104. The next step is to place down an ice monkey and also a tech shooter in the little square on the right side of the map, but make sure you place them as far to the top right and to the top left as possible so you can later place down two more tech shooters down below them. You can start upgrading your ice monkey to embrittlement and deep freeze aka 420. Keep upgrading your tech shooter now to faster shooting and also to overdrive and after popping the first two skulls and you hit a magic immunity phase, you can sell your nin ninja sticky bomb and get your overdrive. At this point we can keep focusing on farming, so make sure to place down one more engineer monkey. Make sure he's on 014 aka larger service area and balloon trap. And after that we can just keep spamming marketplaces. For marketplaces in general I highly recommend to place down a monkey village before you go and uh, buy them. So my first one I'm not using a monkey village and then I uh, recognized I can use discount villages to make them even cheaper which is very good in half cash. So always make sure to have a discount village before you place down your marketplaces. Alright, now we are building a 3 to 0 village, uh, so we can buff all of our primary towers in the little square. And we are also going to build two more overdrives, like I said earlier, in the little square. And um, now we are going for one more sticky bomb, because sticky bomb is actually enough for tier 2 to defeat the primary immunity phase. And all of our overdrives and our embrittlement can easily defeat tier 2 alone.
Not exactly completely alone because we still need one more alchemist. Make sure he's on uh, 401 and make sure he's in range of all of your overdrives. At this point you can also keep focusing on farming. Uh, I recommend to upgrade your marketplaces to central marketplaces. You can also get an engineer and uh, go for overclock and overclock your BRF farm as much as possible. This is probably way more money than just going straight for marketplaces upgrades. But uh, if you are lazy and you don't want to use your ability, you can just go for marketplace upgrades. Alright, we are at tier 3 and the first thing we want to do is to upgrade our Ice Monkey to tier 5 Super Brittle and then get another Embrittlement. Now place down the sniper and make sure you go for a 502 sniper aka cripple moab and even faster firing make sure he stays on first this guy is going to shred the primary immunity phase by a lot like he's really really crazy when it comes to dealing boss damage For the next step we are going to upgrade one of our glue gunner to stronger glue and glue strike aka 042 and we are spamming the ability as much as possible on the boss for extra damage to our tech shooters. Alright, for tier 4 we are going to first of all buy a favor trade and sell all of our farms. So all of our farms in range of our favor trade actually give a little bit more sell back when we sell them and uh, that's why we are going for a favor trade. After that we are going for the most important tower here by far and it's a main moab with even faster firing on last. Make sure you have a 402 sniper on last. This guy is going to stall every round and it's going to be so important. The next step is to get a Super Mines aka 520 Spike Factory and an Ultra Boost a 050 Engineer Monkey. Tech Shooter, you can upgrade one of your Tech Shooters to Tech Zone and you can also upgrade your Glue Strike to Glue Storm. 
At this point, you have to do one thing and one thing only, maybe two things. The most important thing is to ultra boost your super mines 10 times and to use your glue storm ability as much as possible. After ultra boosting your super mines 10 times, keep using your ultra boost on your tech zone to also ultra boost your tech zone 10 times. After overclocking or better said ultra boosting your attacks on 10 times, prepare Dartling Gunner, a 240 Dartling Gunner, and make sure to ultra boost him 10 times as well because this guy is going to be our MAD later at tier 5. Alright, the last step is to ultra boost your cripple moab. You can, you, it's not 100% necessary, but uh, it makes it a little bit easier. So I think I got like three stacks on him. So if you have some stacks left over, just ultra boost uh, your sniper. The last step at tier 5 is to sell your super mines once you reach the support immunity phase and uh, then you can with the money you have uh, after selling you can just upgrade your dartling gunner now to MAD, spam your MAD ability and also get uh, some other tier 5 tower for a little bit extra help. I decided to go for a wizard lord phoenix because he's really good against the neutral rounds and yeah that's basically it for normal guys. Thank you guys very much for watching, I hope this guide helped you. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment. If you have any questions, I try to answer all of them or most people also just help in my comments, which is really great. So thanks to all of you guys who are helping people who have questions in the comments. And yeah, I see you guys on the elite guide and later on the rank guide. Have a very nice weekend, bye.